Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, make sure you turn off the water supply to the washer. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the motor control board in a Whirlpool washer. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a flat lead screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new motor control board. The motor control board provides the power to the motor and also controls the washer motor speed. If the motor is not running correctly or not running at all, the motor control board should be checked and replaced if needed. Loosen up the screw in the top center and take out all the screws that hold the rear access panel. Remove the panel. Here is the motor control board mounted to the base of the washer. Using the flat blade screwdriver, pry open the cover to get to the disconnect plugs. Remove the two wire harness plugs by pressing the locking tabs. Take the drain holes out of the retainer clip on the top of the motor control. Use the flat blade screwdriver to lift the locking tab at the bottom of the motor control board and slide it towards you to disengage it from the base plate. Using the flat blade screwdriver, disconnect the white plug. Using the same flat blade screwdriver, unlock the three tabs and pull the old motor control board out of the housing. Push on the tabs and remove the wire retainer clip. This is the old motor control board next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's install the new motor control board. Connect the white plug. Lock in the wire retainer clip. Place the four posts into the openings in the base and slide the new control board until it locks in. Connect the two remaining wire harness plugs. And then close the cover. Install the drain hose into the top retaining clip. Now we can install the rear access panel. Hang it on the top center screw and then put in the rest of the quarter inch screws. Looks like we're done. Turn on the water, plug the washer in and check for water leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook and on YouTube.